and in black America, the reality of being fatherless is perhaps most painful. 73% of all black babies are born out of wedlock. All of these groups struggle living in an individualist culture. They all have a hard time. And, and we can do something about that. But we have to get over the idea that, that it's simply due to unfairness in some simple sense. I just want to make sure that I have this correct. You, when you say that blacks and Hispanics need to be more aspirational, that is not a racist statement to you? No, it's about culture. It's about what you think life's about. I don't agree with the media because what they say is they say negative things about us and it's not true. I'm Leo Davis, and I was born and raised in a rural town called Sarahland, Alabama. Era Jean Davis. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, well, I grew up in uh, my Lebanon. I was born in my Lebanon, Louisiana. I was working one morning. Uh, my friend came by in his car that with another female friend mm -hmm. and Era Jean was in the car with him. Mm -hmm. We did not meet them, but I saw her then. Yeah. And then when I came home from work to the home, to our apartment house, Erin mm -hmm. uh, Jean was there cooking food for all the people that was in attendance at the house. Mm -hmm. And that is when we started to talk and that's when we met. And we shared our friendship, developed a friendship and which lasted on through the months. We didn't date that long. Right, right. We fell in love mm -hmm. right away. And we've been married for 58 years. I grew up with the loving parents that uh, encouraged us to, to uh, get an education and, uh, and they were very supportive. I think that, that instilled in me when I had my family, I, I was determined that uh, my kids would also uh, get a good education and during their rearing, we made sure that they were uh, in good schools and that they uh, would, would uh, we involved them in activities that so when they uh, we made sure that they would go to college and get an education. I got hired by the Los Angeles City College. City, yeah. and I taught there for 25 years as, a, as another institution. Being educators ourselves, they had to go on to school. Right, right. They had no reason or excuse to lag behind. 